lost it. <laughs> anyway, opening black gold. Three, two, one. Grab a cold one. Okay. Hey, everyone. This is Two Girls, One Quick Look of Black, black gold. gold. My name's Mari. Stacy. Did it do it, Stacy? Black Gold is a song by Soul Asylum. It's also part of the song for uh, Beverly Hills Hillbilly. Black what? Gold. Oil, that is. <laughs> Where did you learn this song? <laughs> Where did you learn that? <laughs> You, you go wash your mouth out right now. <laughs> you put your soap in your mouth. mouth. Black gold oil it is. Oh, God. It's from this TV show, Beverly Hills Hillbilly. I've never heard of it. It's like these hillbillies, like, they were playing with their guns and they, like, hit oil because they shot the ground. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then they got really rich and they moved to Beverly Hills. And so it's about these hillbillies who are really, really rich, but they're still, like, living their life, like, yeah, real, keeping it real. Yeah, keeping it, like, too real for Beverly Hills. <laughs> but everyone much. can't handle how real they are. Yeah. And it's awesome, and it's from, like, the 60s. <laughs> from the 60s? <laughs> yeah. And there was, like, a movie. Whoa. You, whoa, you didn't watch Nick at Night all the time? <laughs> um, I know I have seen some Nick at Night because I've seen, like, some, like, uh, not Sabrina, Bewitched. Okay, yeah, but I watched it all the time as a kid. I'd be like, oh, my God, Bewitched is on. Oh, my God, Beverly yeah. Hills. Yeah, my grandparents let, used to let us watch Bewitched. Okay, this is, like... All right, anyway. Lady didn't tell her husband she was a witch until the night they were married. Dee -doo -dee -doo -doo. And he's like, what? And he's like, um, okay. I dream of Jeannie literally owning your wife. Yeah, yeah, I remember I dream of Jeannie and Bewitched. They all just wanted a magical wife. Magical wife? Who was like, I'm sorry that I used magic again to help you. Oh, and I'm, I'm like, so sorry that I'm so amazing. I'm just completely outshining you with my amazingness. I know that must be horrible for you. I know, and then she's just like submissive to the husband. I'm like, fuck this. Anyway, uh, grab a cold one. <laughs> wow, we're like, it's totally... Like, we're on point today. Yeah. <laughs> So we grabbed a cold one with our friend. Oh. So you're gonna do? So what are you gonna do? Uh, sit here and sip on my beer, I guess. Okay. Dot, dot, dot. I think click on it. Ah, okay. Oh, is this one of those things where, like, this is what male bonding is or something? Maybe they're, like, trying to bond and they just don't, you know. Did I break it? No. See, so you, you just took a sip of beer. You're good. Oh, this is male bonding. Yeah. Okay. Where you sit next to each other. In silence. And drink a brewski. Maybe Wait, if is I this the whole thing? Maybe if I picked a different option, we would be having a conversation, but instead we're just... But instead you just said, like, I'm just gonna sit here, like, leave me alone. Oh. Wanna go get some microwave burritos? Oh my god. Yep. Yep. Male bonding. Hey, microwave burritos are good. Male... <laughs> Bonding. I hope that's the whole game. It is. I would really appreciate that as a commentary if that was the whole game. A commentary on what? I like it. I you like just it. said it's a commentary because you like it. No, I think it's I think it's funny. I think it's like you know. It's a commentary on the modern males. No, I actually no. think it's less, because, you know, I mean, we don't do this too often, but it's like, I feel like if you're really close with someone, you don't have to be constantly talking to them. You can just sit in silence if, you know what I mean? Like, be, that silence isn't awkward. 
you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Maybe buy that broke time machine off Greg. Tire machine? No, time machine. Time machine. I bet you could make some decent money if you got that working. He wants $200 for the time machine. That's not bad. I've seen those go for over 500 on auction. The funeral. I'm not sure you can afford it. The funeral ate it up. Ate up a lot. Ate up a lot. Alright. What about your dad's money at the bank? Last I heard, there was an inquiry or something. Inquiry? Well, I got a little saved if you need it. Thanks. Well, no wonder they're sitting in silence if his dad just died. What's mine is yours. That's what your dad always said. He was a good guy. I like how they have the star, the shooting stars in the background. Still can't believe we found his weird drug stash. Yep. Real weird. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Feeling anything yet? Feeling anything yet? A little tingle. Me too. My feet feel weird. Oh my god, we're on drugs. Ah, like floating. So, dad died, and colors, they're brighter. Oh, and we took his stash and took his drugs. And we took his drugs because we were sad, I would assume. Very. Because we were probably like, fuck it, life is sad. Or maybe they just wanted to do drugs. What? Blurry. There's a ball of light in front of me. Dizzy. You know you're good friends with somebody when you can take your first trip together and still super chill. And still, st yeah, still stay. stay. Uh, Whoa. I'm gonna touch it. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> went weird. Frail is the peak. For both light and dark reside here. And all is visible. We dropped our beer on the ground. Oh so shit, we gotta pick beer. it up. <laughs> I see your short, faltering song. It will echo for generations. I like that all the eyes are blinking at different rates. Now that which you seek most will envelop you as a cradle. You are always welcome here. Stay. <laughs> <laughs> they just fucking lost it. They're not dead, don't worry. They're just, yeah, like, on uh, a yeah. trip. I think they're just both just like, Ugh. I can't handle hallucinogens. Can't do it. Because my mind goes to dark places immediately. Yeah. Instantly, I'm like, Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> so, let's grab another cold one. Oh, okay. We're good. That's fine. <laughs>